This is Rosemary Schrager, queen of the kitchen. Her cooking school in Yorkshire, England has made her famous for teaching kitchen novices to create haute cuisine masterpieces. Now she's come to America. And she's about to turn some of America's biggest culinary clods into gourmet geniuses. Today, Rosemary's going to teach a sailboat captain and his sister to cook a seafood pasta dish that's sure to be the catch of the day. I understand now. Language difference, you know what I mean? Which part do you find difficult? Well, no, your accent and just some of the words that you use. Some of the words What have you just done? We gotta get cracking. Okay, watch me. Amazing. Rosemary, queen of the kitchen, is in Maplewood, New Jersey. She's answered an SOS from sailboat captain Matt Carmel, who wants help cooking a very special meal. This is the right place. Yes, it is. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, Matt Carmel. Hi. Sister. Hello, Matt. Hi, how Hello. are you? Very well indeed. Matt's sister Claudia is the second mate for the day. And what's it for? My wife, Steffi. Oh, lovely. Yeah, her birthday's on the 30th. So it's a birthday party. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. Let's go in and let's okay. see the kitchen, first very, of all. I'd good. like to see this. It's fantastic. Thank you. Look at this oven. This is fabulous. So obviously, you're cook. I'm the cook. How scary for me. <laughs> but, but am I going to be able to give you a hard time, I wonder? <laughs> Today's menu would be a stretch for any cook. Appetizer will be a crab, salmon, and shrimp ravioli with a crab and ginger sauce. For entree, breast of chicken with fennel and red pepper mousse on a polenta galette. And dessert will be roasted plums in puff pastry with caramel sauce and confit of orange. Now, you're going to have to really perform because we are really against the clock. You have got precisely four, about four hours to finish this meal with. Are you ready? Are you going to go for it? Ready, ready. Right, <laughs> we need to start the polenta. Now, when you do polenta, do you know how you cook polenta before? Yes. Right, so you know it goes lumpy? Yes. When it goes into it, you do the polenta. <laughs> right. Spread the polenta onto here and have it about that thick. Gotcha. And you can do it with a rolling pin. Claudia mixes polenta meal with boiling chicken stock, seasoned with salt to taste, and a handful of chopped sage leaves. We're going to make the pasta. OK, you all right with that? Um, sounds good. Right, what I'd like you to do is put the flour into here. This is pasta flour. OK. Double O, very fine. Right. All in one go, you put the egg yolks in, the two whole eggs in, some of that saffron juice. Not a lot, just a little. Now turn it on. Okay. So it resembles breadcrumbs. Okay. The pasta will be used to make the ravioli for the appetizer. Oh, hang on. No, no, it's not done. Can you push it back a little bit more? Sorry, that's not how it's done with me. How do you do it? I make it taste a little bit drier than that. All right. Just a bit drier. Perfect. Lovely. That looks perfect. Now, take it out. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, it's gonna Isn't that good? Make now, what I'd nice like you gosh. to do, I'd like you to take it out of off there and bring it on there and bring it together as a dough. Spread it out a little bit. Little this faster. is quite lumpy. You might have been able to have done polenta, I'm sure you can, but this is actually a little bit lumpy. That goes into the fridge to cool down. Matt has kneaded his pasta until it has the consistency of a heavy bread dough. You can kill somebody with that thing. Right, fantastic, look at that. That's wonderful. <laughs> Let's see. Wonderful. Don't drop it on your foot. No, now, I want you to wrap that up in cling wrap, please. Okay. Okay, don't worry. Right, just clear Here. up there. Right. I'm going to show you how to do the crab. What you do is, you remove the claws. Right, do you know how to open this now? Uh, I forget. Okay, right. what you do is you stand it on its head. And you go like that. Oh. And you take it out like that. Here are the eyes. And you have to remove all that. You're going to take this in half. And inside here, there's lots of meat in there. Right. You want to get that out. OK. All right? The crab meat will be used in the ravioli filling in the appetizer. And the shells will be used to make a stock for the crab and ginger sauce to go with it. In here. You're going to show us how to do it? Yes, if you want me. Well, yes, go right in. Go. This is why it's going to take four yeah, hours. Yeah, exactly. It's going to take four hours. Is this the this entire is, thing this that is, you want us to do? This is <laughs> Look, don't complain. You've only got one. You've only got one. So if you start complaining, you're not going to win with me. <laughs> what do you do in your real life, Claudia? 
I, uh, I'm a mounted urban park ranger and I ride horses in Central Park. Do you? Oh, yes. What fun! Can I go on a horse? What a job! I've got one big enough for me. <laughs> Our horses are Clydesdales. They're very large. <laughs> <laughs> they fit people like me. Yes. Okay, you continue doing that. Okay. While Claudia tackles the crabs, Matt chops all the other elements that'll go into the stock to make the sauce. I'm terribly impressed with this knife work of yours. Get it nice and hot and start cooking off the vegetables. Okay. No, what did I tell you? What? Much easier. Oh, this way? Yes. You don't like being told okay. what to do, do you? There you go. Okay, now what we're doing here is we're trying to get the flavour out, so just stir it around that. I'm not okay. going to do it. This I'll yours. do it. I need you to start cutting up this salmon. I want you to cut all the fat off there. This is the fat from underneath. Oh. I don't want that in the salmon filling, okay? Cut it up like this. We just want it to fine dice. Okay. The chopped salmon will go with the crab meat to make the stuffing for the ravioli appetizer. I want to show you about cutting. Okay. When you cut, you should always cut on this part of the knife. Mm -hmm. When you do it, you do it from a rocking movement like that. So you cut on the down, pull on the top, cut on the down, pull on the top. Be careful your fingers, be careful your fingers. Okay, keep going. That's it. Okay, Chopping. when you keep going, you pop yes. it in there. What's this? Oh. Claudia. I'm sorry. You know, you, you, what do you do? You have a blooming lung in there. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Whip me with a wet noodle. No, I won't dare. <laughs> You're too frightening. Coming up. Just, this is going to be a mess. Just be quiet for one moment, Claudia. <laughs> Just be quiet. I'd like you to add the chives now. And now I'd like you to add the creme fraiche. Mix it all, right. all in, please. All and right. Mix it all up. Yes, brilliant. It's all raw. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Your lovely crab. Mm. Oh, doesn't that look gorgeous? Yes. Mm. Now, Claudia mixes the crab meat and salmon together with shrimp, herbs, and creme fraiche to complete the ravioli stuffing. That is the vibe. Now we're going to make the pasta. All right. Now, pasta dries out really quickly, so you must keep it covered. First thing you've got to do is knead it. You knead it by putting it through the same aperture about five times to okay. knead it. Because this is not needed. All this you've done is bring it together to make a paste. That's all you've done. Okay. okay. So, all we're going to do... Now, that's pretty perfect. Right. Right. You can see right through it. Now, all I'm going to do is to take just a little bit of stuffing like that. This is making me so hungry. <laughs> What's it doing to you? I'm starving. An egg wash. Mm -hmm. There's always one whole egg and one egg yolk. Right. That makes a great egg wash rather than just solid. You can use just water for this if you right. want all milk or... But we're just going to use that. All I'm going to do here mm -hmm. is brush around it. I feel like Picasso here. Good. Now you're going to put that Okay, over. well, I'm going to... But this is important to do it this way. Because if you do it any other way, it won't work. You go like that, mm -hmm. one side, and then you go down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You go like that, right. one side, and then you go down. Now, here, I'm just going to go like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you take it in your hand. Mm -hmm. We're just going to go like that. Okay, it's making like so a it's wonton. Making it, no, like a wonton. <laughs> exactly! <gasps> Perfect! Yeah, Fantastic! Does that look gorgeous? Beautiful. That's very good. All right. Okay, a bigger, uh, bigger hunk, bigger hunk. Two more, a little more. It's too big. It's like siatsu massage. <laughs> Keep going? It, it should come out by itself. Okay. Right, Same ball. Oh, whoops. Okay. Look at this, like a well-oiled machine. Okay, yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. We need some technical assistance. Don't pull, don't pull. I'm not pulling. Something's not right here. Hold on. It's drying out. It's, it's drying too out? hot in here. What's going on? What have you done wrong? What's this? So you're going to show us again? I'm going to show notes. you how to do this. One more time. One more time. OK, and with your rubbishy bit here. My rubbishy bit? Yes, your rubbishy bit okay, here. slow down. Let me see what you're doing. Oh, this is going to be a mess. Just be quiet for one moment, Claudia. <laughs> just be quiet. Tell her. Tell her, Rosa. Now, just shush. I was raising Shut it. up. I know. <laughs> It's actually dry. Actually, you know what's happened? It has dried out. But that's because... Aren't I allowed to be right some of the time? Well, no, never. <laughs> really? Never. Huh. There we go. All, All right. right. Back in business. 
With Rosemary's help, Matt and Claudia's pasta is back on track. All right. Brilliant! Yeah? And that's nice and big, too. Right. Gotta to find your middle, which is there. Cut it. Well, was that the middle? Um, yes! Okay. Great. Teamwork, teamwork, that's what I like. Great. No, you don't. Yes, that's right. She's, she's so impatient. Lovely. Claudia, yes. will you do me a favour? I'll try. Try not to get so close to there. Do you see what I mean? No. What I'm saying is try yes. to not cut it when it's so close. Try to leave a little bit more, OK, because you don't want it to open. So what I'm trying to say okay. is... Show me where you would cut it, then. Just a little bit okay. off there. You Do you see what I mean? I understand now. Okay. Yes, I got you. Language difference, no, no, no. you know what I mean? You <laughs> no, are actually, just drawn Do you actually, no, seriously, do you find it difficult? To... A little bit, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. fair enough. Yeah. Which part do you find difficult? Oh, no, your accent and just some part. of the words that you use. <laughs> some of the words I use. <laughs> Coming up. You're getting really <laughs> slack. <laughs> Look at it. I'm dying here, I'm yeah. dying. <laughs> It's drying out. It's, drying it's too out. hot in here. What's going on? What have you done wrong? What's this? Rosemary Schrager, queen of the kitchen, has come to the rescue of brother and sister Matt and Claudia Carmel. Listen! They want to make a special birthday dinner for Matt's wife, Stephanie. Time is tight. We must start the main course. So the main course, we're going to make a little mousseline, chicken mousseline, and in it we're going to put some fennel and some red pepper and some chopped chives, just to give it that colour and flavour in the chicken mousse. Then we're going to fill the chicken breast, which we have to bang out here, into a flat surface, then roll it up and put it into cling wrap like a little cracker, and then we're going to steam it. Right, now You're the right first away. thing you've got to do is to chop up your chicken. There's a knife. And put it into your processor. While Matt blends chicken and cream into a mousse, Claudia strains the sauce for the seafood appetizer. OK, there you are. Right, now what I'd like you to do is to fold in the fennel, chives, and pepper. OK. That's it. Very gently so we don't make That's it. That's it, exactly. So you're not actually, so you don't keep curdling it. Right. The mousse will be wrapped in chicken breast that needs to be beaten until it's around an eighth of an inch thick. Salt it. Can you bring me the mousse? I'm going to roll it out. Have you made sushi before? Uh, of course. Very carefully. Don't, once you've done that, you mustn't touch it with your hands at all, because it's very, very soft, all right? So you keep doing it. I'm going to actually cook it in the cling wrap. Gotcha. Steam it, actually. Mm -hmm. Just like making a hot dog. Exactly. And then... It's like a corn dog. What you do is, you go like this, so it's like a long, big, long sausage. Right. I'm going to put that in the fridge. Can okay. you? Okay. No problem. Okay, if you carry on now, Matt, we're okay. going to be over here. Okay, here we go. OK. You're going to make a grape sauce. All right. You're going to sauté off these bones, fry them on each side. You're going to also put in the vegetables. Then you're going to add some chicken stock and some grape juice. All right. And then you're going to reduce it. OK. And then you're going to strain it. Claudia gets to work on the grape sauce to go with the entree, while Rosemary picks up the pace with Matt. You're getting slack here. Look at you. You're getting really slack. <laughs> Look at it! I'm dying here, I'm yeah. dying. You're gonna keep going, come on! How are you getting on? Claudia strains the chicken bones and vegetables for the entree's grape sauce. All right. Oh, it smells wonderful. Try and get it all if we can. I know. All the juices, those final juices are amazing. Your job now is going to be cutting up the polenta here. The polenta that Claudia made earlier okay, has been chilled for two hours. Now it'll be cut and fried to be served with the entree. And once it's in, you Don't mustn't touch. touch. OK, interesting. Because it's to create a seal. So we need to just leave it. So if you want, you can put more in. Yep. What else? OK, let me just think for one moment. What have I forgotten? Have I forgotten something? The pancetta. Uh, That's right, I've forgotten the pancetta. Uh, so let's do pancetta. that. Will you grill it for me? Grill it. So we need to have the grill on. The grill? Yes, the grill. Oh, you mean the broiler. Oh, the broiler, the broiler. What the broiler? The broiler. Pancetta is cured pork that will be broiled and served as a garnish for the seafood ravioli appetizer. The polenta looks divine. Right. It looks beautiful, seriously. Right. It looks so pretty. And when the spinach is on top, chicken's on top, it'll be so rich. Mm -hmm. Because the first course is done as well, I would like you to start the dessert. What you've got to do now, you're going to roast these plums. I want you to cover them with sugar. You can put some of this sugar. I think this is sugar. Yes, that's sugar. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, 
Sometimes you can get it wrong, it can be salt. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that's happened to me. Okay, we have got to get our puff pastry, so concentrate. This is important because I haven't got any more of this. Uh -oh. This is your puff pastry. You can buy puff pastry, as you know. We could be going out for ice cream then. <laughs> the puff now, pastry will be what? dessert, filled with the roasted plums. Now, we've got to do a shape, triangle shape. That's our shape. Okay. That's it, go for it. Where are you up to okay. now, Claudia? Okay. Can we right, talk do your about cut. how long everything takes? In what way? You need an incredible amount of patience. Oh, for this meal? You're doing a restaurant meal. You do what? A restaurant meal. A restaurant. Yes. Okay. This is this is this is something the restaurants will do it in stages. This is not we're doing it from start to finish. Oh, beautiful. You are nearly there. That is fantastic. That's the pancetta there? is ready, oh, and Matt has cut the puff pastry oh, triangles gosh. for the dessert. Okay, my god, they look fantastic. Look on the fun. And they are quite equilateral, if I say I so myself. God, you are a perfectionist, aren't you? There we are. What I'd like you to do, this is really important, okay. because when you do this, mm -hmm. if you go over the sides, like that, yeah. it'll stop it from rising. Oh, <laughs> oh like that. <laughs> Oops. Because you know what? The egg is sticking, it's sealing it, okay. so it doesn't help it. Okay. So finish that, and then come back there and do it again, and then pop it straight in the oven. Okay. Beep, beep. There you go. And I would like you to remove your plums at the same time, here. Okay. And bring it over here. Put it on this board here, because they're falling apart now. Hot, 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 hot. Hot soup. Okay, that's it, just leave it. That's perfect, okay. perfect. I would like you to thicken this sauce up just a tiny bit as well, just a tad. With dessert underway, Rosemary adds cream to the crab stock that Claudia strained earlier. Oh, wow. Oh. That is absolutely delicious. But you know what? The last touch. Now, you tell me. Whisk it. Mm. That's really good, too. Maybe even a little more spicy. Well, that's interesting. What do you think? Man, well, that's no? good stuff. Try it go again. with a bit more salt, I think, maybe. Salt? No. I'm going to test you. OK. I'm going to put a little bit more salt in, which is okay. what I think it could do with, just a tiny bit. All right. OK? Now, tell me if it's changed slightly. Yes. It's saltier. <laughs> no. No, you taste it more with, the whole, with your whole mouth. Exactly. OK. That's all we needed was that little bit of more right, salt. Here, it's it. actually understanding the palate, how the all palate right. works. Okay. Coming up. I think we should go for it. Hi. Come on, guys. Let's get on with this superb Girl. meal. The main course, you've got your chicken, which has got to be cooked off, steamed. You've got your polenta, which has got to be warmed through. You've got your sauce, you've got your, you've got your spinach, which has got to be done now. Okay. Two minutes left, you do the spinach, you finish your puff pastry, finish. Done. You this wouldn't will... put something on the top? Just... No, 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 just turn Gosh. it over. Well, I what think the pan is... is too small. No, 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 this is fine. Oh, good. Right, <laughs> just no problems about that. You can hit her anytime, Rosemary. Anytime. Can I? You can just right. give her a pop in the head. See. Now, this is done. Was I right or was I wrong? Absolutely right. Do you trust me now? Yes. Do you think I yes. know what I'm talking about? Absolutely. When they say I'm Rosemary Queen of the Kitchen, I am Queen of the Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we must okay. get this. The puff pastry okay. triangles that Matt made have been cooked in the oven until risen and golden brown. So I'm just going to take the tops. So basically, and what I don't want is that little center bit. So I'm going to take a little knife like that. And I just want to take that sort of center bit out. You just don't want that doughy bit in the middle because that's that sort of uncooked bit. It's always like that. Right, off you go. You, as, long as, oh, we have, okay. as long as we have six, that's all that matters. When you've done that, we're going to clear up and we're going to get ready for service. All right. OK? That's Sounds it. Well good. done. Thank you. Well done, you two. Well done. <laughs> Fantastic. <Thank> you. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey, guys. Hi. Matt's wife, Stephanie, and friends arrive ready for a gourmet feast. Not quite. The middle ones aren't done. All I've done is just put it in a steamer. How long? 20 minutes. Are all your guests here? Yes. Oh, are you? would you like to start serving? OK, well, I think we should go for it. Come on, guys, let's get on with this superb meal. We're putting the pasta in now, because they take five minutes to cook. 
Have you ever burnt the whole meal and had to sign up for pizza? No, Matt, <laughs> I haven't. Have you ever gone wrong with your sailing yeah. that you can't find your way back? Yeah. Not, not, not yet. <laughs> Touché. <laughs> and bring it over here, and we'll bring the cutters with us. I'm just gonna do one and finish one off for you. Your lovely crab sauce, and then you're going to take a little bit of pancetta, just on the side, push it on the top like that. That's beautiful. Okay. okay. Why don't you start taking two out? Oh, very good. Come on, because they're ready, ready to go. The appetizer is a crab, salmon, and shrimp ravioli, garnished with pancetta and a crab and ginger sauce. Oh. There we go. Thank you. To the big Welcome. sister. <laughs> Shall we eat? Shall we eat? Let's Let's go. Go. The guests are definitely impressed. This is very good. You like this? Yeah. It's, it's a lot of work to, to put this together, but this is for a special occasion. Now, I'm going to take one of these just to show you. I want to do okay. one. I'm just going to cut it like this. Then, that bit on the top, like that. So it can be at an angle, just like that. All right. Now for the entree. Breast of chicken with fennel and red pepper mousse on a polenta galette with spinach. And yeah, Steffi, to your birthday, so may you have a happy and healthy uh, long life. Long life. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you get rid of meat, that's possible. This sauce is great. Yeah. Did you try it? This sauce is really wonderful. And now for the dessert. Plums and puff pastry served in a caramel sauce and orange confit. Enjoy yourselves. You worked very, very hard. It's been a great success, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And they've made a restaurant dinner. Thank you. Okay. It's a pleasure. Okay. So they may have encountered some rough seas, but Rosemary has once again proved that no matter what, she is still queen of the kitchen. For more information of my recipes, go on to discovery.com, click on to Discovery Home. Thank you.